Time for gathering practice. Remember, these are problems that you shouldn't miss because we're working through them together. You should always try to work ahead of me and then check your answers, but you shouldn't miss them because the answers are out there. Okay, for the first four, they say to tell whether or not they're, the angles are only adjacent, adjacent and form a linear pair, or not adjacent at all. So let's get to it. As the saying goes, nothing to it the way we do it. So we have angle five right here. Throw that one in. And then it also asks us about angle four. Well, to be adjacent, they have to share a side. Do they share a side? Yeah, I'd say so. They're adjacent. Now, the side they don't share, does it make a line? No, it doesn't. So these are just adjacent. Okay, number two asks us about one and four. So one and four. Now y'all think about those. Yeah, they don't share a side. So since they don't share a side, we're gonna say not adjacent. And last but not least, or at least, I'll say last but not least, it's not really last or least, but two and three, because we still got another relation we're gonna talk about. There's two there's three. Okay, what do we think? Yeah, they share a side, so they're adjacent. Now the side they don't share, the sides they don't share, does it make a line? Yep. So it's adjacent and a linear pair. Now for number four. Number four actually tells us that angles one and three are not adjacent. So it kind of gives us a little hint there. It says one and three aren't adjacent. We know that. But do they have a special relationship? So let me kind of shade it in here and maybe we can see something special that we've learned today. So there's three over there. Here's one right here. Now they tell us it's not adjacent. So don't tell me, oh, it's not adjacent. I know, they tell us. It's not adjacent. It's not a linear pair. But what relationship do they have that we've learned today? They're vertical angles. Okay, there's the first four questions. Let's look at the next one. And these are kind of be like ones we've done on our notes. 
So if you're reading it and you're like, eh, I don't know, look at your notes. Okay, angles A, B, D, and angle B, D, E are supplementary. Stop there. What's supplementary mean? They add to equal 180. Find the measure of both angles. Not one, not two. Well, I guess, yes, two. Not just X. We got to find both angles. Okay, well, they give us the measure of the angles and they tell us they're supplementary. So why don't we add them together and set them equal to 180? Uh, 5x. I need to change colors here. Or I want to. I don't need to. I want to. 5x plus 17x minus 18 equals 180. Do not like that equal sign right there. Okay, so let's combine now. 5x plus 17x. It's going to be 22x minus 18 equals 180. Got to add 18 to both sides. It's going to give us 22x equals... Let's see, that's an 8, that's a 9, that's a 1. I'm out of room, so I'm going to continue up here. Divide by 22. I'm going to get x equals 9. Okay, x is 9. But they ask us to find both angles. So let's come in here now and plug it in, plug it in for the x. So for a, b, d, we're going to have 5 times 9, which gives us 45. So... This one should be 45. Now for the next one. 17 times 9 minus 18. That should give us... 135. These are 100, that's 135. Now let's say you want to be 100% sure you're right. What should both of these angles add to that we just found? It's written right above it. 180. So if you want to be 100% sure you're right, add those together and you should get 180. In this case, we do. I'm not going to do it, but we will. I promise you, we'll get 180. Okay. Numero six. Now, this one is like the one on the notes where they were right angles. They were both right angles. But this time, they're not both right angles. They're supplementary angles, which means they're 180. But we don't even have to really worry about that. What we know is that these two are congruent, which means these two have to be congruent also. So to find x that it asked for, 
We just set them equal to each other. We're gonna have nine X minus six equals 8.5X plus two. And then we start doing our algebra. So subtract 8.5X from both sides. It's going to give me 0.5X minus 6 equals 2. Let's add 6. Let me 0.5x equals 8. I'm out of room, so I'm going to bring it up here. We're going to have to divide by 0 0.5. It's going to give us x equals. Eight divided by 0.5 is 16. There's our final answer. And then the last one on the guided practice what kind of angles are these? The ones that they give you the equation for. What's our special name for these angles? These are vertical angles. I'm going to abbreviate angles. Vertical angles. And what do we know about vertical angles? They're congruent. Or you could also say they're equal. So since they want us to find x, what do we need to do to get x? So they make equal to each other. So I'm gonna flip it around just to make it easier on us in the future. 5x plus 16 equals 2x plus 40. Subtract 2x from both sides. 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 16 equals 40. Subtract your 16. We'll get 3x equals, oof, what is that? 24. I am all out of room, so I'm going to come up here and rewrite it with what little room I have. Why did I go all the way up there? Hang on, guys. Hang on. I don't need to go all the way up there. I'm just going to come up to that point. Divide by three, and we get x equals 24 divided by three is eight. And then just ask us to find x. So we're done. Okay, so with that, that's our guided practice. So get to work on the rest of the assignment. If you have questions, reach out to me, post in Google Classroom. Hopefully by now you're starting to get into the routine. Adios, amigos.